So that's two of the trig ratios, trigonometric ratios, trig for short. Let's look at the third trigonometric ratio, the tangent ratio, or tan for short. Tangent ratio, or tan for short. So, again, we need a right angled triangle, but this time the tangent, the tangent ratio, is the connection on a right angled triangle between the opposite and the adjacent. So, in this triangle, if I'm going to be working with that angle, this will be the opposite and this will be the adjacent. Opposite, adjacent, working with this angle, opposite, adjacent, opposite, next to the angle I'm working with. Hypotenuse, we won't label it, because we're not using it this time. So the tangent is the connection between the opposite and the adjacent. Okay, so the same process, using the tangent ratio to calculate the length of a side. So in this triangle, I'm going to be working with this angle. If I'm going to be working with this angle, that's going to be the opposite, because it's opposite the angle I'm working with. This is the adjacent, because it's next to. Now the only problem we might have is somebody might argue that so is the hypotenuse next to. Well, it's true, but we know this is the hypotenuse because it's the longest side, so that's the adjacent. The tangent is the connection or ratio between the opposite on the triangle and the adjacent. So in this particular case, the tangent of the angle that we're given, 62 degrees, equals the opposite, which I don't know, called the unknown, over the adjacent, which I know is 13. If the unknown is on top, we multiply two pieces of information. If the unknown is on top, we multiply the two pieces of information. And that will work out the unknown. Well, let's just do it with the calculator. 13 multiplied by the tangent of 62 equals 24.44944405, you should write it all down, but I'll just do this, because that's a sensible answer. Put another one. Tangent is the ratio connection between the opposite and the adjacent. So let's look at this one. In this particular case, I'm going to be working with this angle. And with respect to that angle, this is the opposite, because it's opposite that angle, and this is the adjacent, it's next to. So therefore I'm going to be using the tape tangent ratio, opposite and adjacent. So the tangent of the angle I'm given, in other words tangent of 37 degrees, equals the opposite, which is 10 centimetres, over the adjacent, which is the unknown. Again, we've got the situation as before, that the unknown is now underneath. When the unknown is underneath, we swap these two round. I'll say it for the last time, a little bit unmathematical. It doesn't explain what's happening when changing the subject to the formula, but it works. Then we pick up the calculator and do 10 divided by the tangent of 73. Here we go. 10 divided by the tangent of 73 equals 3.057. 3.057 and write the other numbers down. But I'm just going to do one decimal place underneath. That's what's expected of you all of the time. Show you're working out show a full calculator answer, show a sensible answer. Please get in the habit of writing all of this down every single time. Then possibly you have more chance of remembering it. And getting more marks in the exam for showing you working out.
let's look at these two here trigonometric ratios with this triangle I'm working with this angle and if I'm working with that angle that's going to be called the opposite this is next to it's called the adjacent so this is the trigonometric ratio I'm going to be using the trig of opposite over adjacent so the tangent of the angle I'm given which is 74 degrees equals the opposite which is the unknown over the adjacent which is 13.4 centimeters if the unknown is on top you multiply the two pieces of information which you've got and that will give you the unknown amount the question mark this one working with this angle that's the opposite this opposite angle I'm working with that's the adjacent so this is the tangent the tan equals the relationship between the opposite and the adjacent so the tangent of the angle I've given which is a tangent of 37 degrees equals the opposite which is 6.7 over the adjacent the unknown and there's the other situation if the unknown is underneath swap these two round so we end up with 6.7 needs to be divided by the tangent of 37 and out comes the calculator to finish it <coughs> now doing them one at a time like that I hope it's made sense and you're happy with but when you're asked a question in the exam you won't be told that it's trig ratios and you won't be told whether it's sine, cosine or tangent you've got to suss out whether it's trig ratios to start with whether it's Pythagoras and if it's sine, cosine or tangent so here we go, let's look at the question where well, we know it's trig ratios because I've said that it is but, which one is it? you must have a right angled triangle so, for trig ratios with a length of a side and an angle we can find another side but are we going to use sine or cosine or tangent now it's worth writing down all three until you're really used to it so you can help pick which one is the right one then looking at the triangle label it this is the angle we're going to be working with this is the opposite this is the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse now I've only labelled the adjacent and the hypotenuse because for this particular question the adjacent is what I'm trying to find the hypotenuse is what I know so if you just label the two sides you're going to be working with then you can find the form that you need so in this case I need the one that's got the A and the H in it when we decide which one it is write it down 